Last Saturday, the Barbies Chamber of Commerce hosted a town hall meeting with presidential candidates. Narima Ali reports. The Barbies Chamber of Commerce hosted a town hall meeting on Saturday, November 30th at the Metro Building, 9 Main Street, New Amsterdam, where several presidential candidates were in attendance to interact with the residents of Burbese. Brief opening remarks were made by the president of the Burbese Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Errol Azar. I would like to welcome our presidential candidates, also members of the diplomatic corps, members of the private sector, and sister organizations that are present, members of the press, and our special invitees. A very special welcome for you attending this first town hall meeting. I think it's the first ever time that it was done in Guyana. All the other presidential candidates committed to turning up here this evening. Anyhow, for those of you here who are attending, a very special welcome to you, and I hope that we have a successful town hall. The five presidential candidates present, Dr. Asha Kisun of the New Movement, Mr. Lennox Schumann of Liberty and Justice Party, Mr. Ralph Ramkaran of A New and United Guyana, Mr. Chandra Sohan of the Federal United Party, and Mr. Ruel Johnson of the Citizens Initiative, then spoke briefly on what their party is about. Take a look at this modern day at time. I am the only woman standing before you, and I am the youngest person here today. Does that not say enough about the system that we are in right now? United we stand, divided we fall. One apparently expects the presidential candidate to know it all. However, the new movement believes that we should have specialists in every sector that deal with prominent issues in a professional way. We are here to identify problems, and find solutions to them. The new movement is here to stay, and we thank you for your time tonight. What we are looking at is to transform them in a system to a system that includes all Guyanese, so that every single Guyanese benefits from our patrimony. And we look forward to this discussion. We look forward to any future debate. And let me leave with this note. I'd like to thank the Barbies Chamber for inviting me and the other candidates. I'd like, I'd like to thank the United States Ambassador and British High Commissioner for traveling from Georgetown and so many Barbies to be here. We are the only political party which has as our vision, our objective, and our main purpose to transform the majoritarian political system of Guyana the consensual political system where both political parties, the main political parties, and any small party can qualify, form the government in equal number, the main party in equal number. So no one has an advantage over the other. As you know, our party is called Federal United Party. We are seeking to introduce a federal system of government in this country. That is one the system which we believe is going to advance the interests of the country as a whole. Once you have a constituency system and you have represented 65 representative parliament, which comes from different parts of this country, they will be able to go to parliament and advance their particular interests of people that will vote in for it. So we are talking about wanting to give power to the hands of the people and not to the people. You know what most important? What, first of all, we've got to get a small people and we said, this is happening, what, what should we do about it? Um, two options came, came up. One, we start a primary civic initiative, in which we encourage issues like good governance, good transparency, good dialogue with politicians, or we uh, make a specific political intervention, form part. The event then continued with the candidates answering several questions asked by the students of schools in New Amsterdam about their plans for the country. The British High Commissioner to Guyana, Mr. Ray Davidson, 
and the U.S. Ambassador to Guyana, Ms. Sarah Ann Lynch, were also present at the forum. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.